All right. Welcome, everybody, to another Recharge class. I'm glad you're here with me today. Let's go ahead and get started while we wait for everybody to pop on. We'll go through our today. Remember, we're going tip of the day now, not nutrition snack of the day. So our tip of the day today <clears throat> is incorporate whole grains, three grams per serving. Okay. So that you can do with fruits and vegetables. You can do it with beans, legumes, or lentils, or nuts and seeds. So adding these foods provide insoluble fibers that ferment and provides food for our microbiome in our gut. So gut bacteria needs to eat also, guys, so make sure that we're feeding them properly. Doing this supports our immune system and is a natural detoxification process for our body. So it's important, especially right now with everything that's going on, right? So keeping ourselves healthy from the inside out. And we can do that through snacks. So thank you, Diane, for that little tip. And hopefully uh, my people will put it to use. I know that they like using these nutrition tips and nutrition. So thank you very much. And if you guys ever want to meet with her or test the other dietitian in Oregon, let me know and we can get you set up. Okay, because we are doing one-on-ones with them also. <clears throat> and then our joke for today. What kind of music scares balloons and if you look at the guy he's saying don't play that song i'll tell you at the end all right let's get started so we are going to start on the ground as always glute bridge position guys let's get those heels dug into the ground toes just slightly off arms digging in for support we're going to use that to bridge up at the beginning bridge up nice and high squeeze those glutes squeeze those hamstrings now, without shifting our weight too much side to side, let's go for that knee hug. Good knee hug at the top. Keep those glutes nice and tight. Switch to the other side. Make sure you're eliminating as much hip sway as you can, and don't let your butt drop as we march side to side. We're going five on each side. We're at two. Three. Try to get a little more knee hug each time, a little extra stretch in there. Challenge yourself, try to keep that core tight, glutes tight, hammies tight. Let's go one more for good measure. And relax, all right. Now we're going into our leg cradle. Straighten your left leg. Grab the outside of your right knee and your ankle. We're gonna pull up on both at the same time. Remember, we don't wanna just pull here because that puts a lot of pressure in our knee. It's good for knee health to pull together. Feel that good stretch in your glute. Hold for three to five seconds. You can hold longer if you would like, just do less reps. And then we're gonna just release it, straighten it out, and then bring that same leg right back. Just giving it a second to Relax, and then we'll pull. Helps with guarding, so we're trying to fight against your muscles, fighting you to get that stretch in there. Relax, bring it back. <clears throat> I'm at the tail end of my cold still, so you might have me lose my voice for just a second here and there, but it's been pretty good. I have my water just in case. <clears throat> During classes, it's not been too bad. Switch, okay, support. That's the important part. Now, if you notice this leg, I cannot pull in as much. It's a lot tighter in this hip and in this glute. So I'm just gonna go to where I feel that good stretch. Just a little pass, but not into pain. Take a deep breath and relax, and then switch, and then bring it back. Okay, so just pulling in to where you feel that stretch, and then just a slight bit further and you'll know because if you go too far you'll feel pain no pain and relax and bring it right back good all right bird dog position quad position let's go knees under hips hands under shoulders make sure you find that good neutral spine so if you need to do a couple cat cows to find it lock that core in nice and tight Let's go right arm out, left leg out, nice and strong here. We're just gonna hold today. Nice and easy, right? Not a big deal. This will translate into one of our movements later on today, 
where we're going to be in this position, but in plank. So I want to make sure that we can hold, maintain core. This is going to be the easier version of it. So we're just teaching our body that it can balance with only two points of contact. Nice and strong. Three, two, one. Switch sides. So left arm out, right leg out, and lock in. Something so simple that can get so hard as you start to get tired in this position. If you start feeling like you're wobbling a bunch, reset if you need to and come back into it. Keep that core tight, that's what's gonna keep you locked in. Keep your glute tight, that's gonna keep your legs stable and keep your shoulder pressed out over your head. Make yourself as long as possible, pointing as far as you can and pushing your toe back as far as you can. And come back in. Beautiful. Up on our feet. Let's get ourselves ready for the rest of the work. Okay. We're going to go two to one drop squats. Okay. Starting up on our toe. We're going to drop to one leg. Doesn't matter which side you're going to go. I'm going to go right, left, right, left. Two on each side. Okay. Starting up nice and high. Dropping to one foot. Three, two, one, drop. Okay. If you need to kick stand a little, that's okay. Find your balance. Good. Start back up at the top. I'm going left leg, three, two, one, drop. Oh, nice. All right, right leg again, three, two, one, drop. Woo. Oh, see, I had to kickstand. Bad coach, bad coach. See, even I mess up. Here we go, left leg, three, two, one, drop. Much better. As you can see, plant leg for my soccer days, right? Look how much stronger that leg is, insane. Okay, lateral squats. <clears throat> What's the difference between a lateral squat and a lateral lunge? I know you guys know the answer. We're gonna go out to that side. We're gonna come up, but we're not stepping together. Remember, there's no step with these, so make sure you stay in position. Go in lateral squat, five each side, bent Ws, pillar bridge with a leg lift and an arm reach. Okay, so that's that bird dog position, but in a plank. We're gonna repeat that two to three times depending on time. And then we're going to go into our next set of exercises, okay? So let's go right leg first, getting into our lateral position, okay? Just start in a wide base, toes pointed forward. We're going to that right side. Make sure you maintain that angle of toe, knee, hip, coming down, pausing at the bottom, big chest as big as you can, come back up. One, good, pause. Two, beautiful. Keep that nice, 40-ish to 45 degree angle between your toe, knee, and hip. Toe at the outside, knee inside of the toe, hip inside of knee. Okay, we don't wanna be way out here, that's where pain comes from, okay? So down, watch that angle, up, down, and up. Good, one more, down, and up. Good, switching sides. Make sure those toes are pointed forward. One side might be a little easier than the other. You might feel more of a stretch on one side. That's okay. Pause. And up. Beautiful. Down. Up. See, and I have the benefit of seeing myself in my computer screen. I can make sure that my knee is inside of toe. Toes are pointed forward. Coming up. Good. Two more. And just like any lunge, we want this knee behind our toe. So if you're watching me from the side, my knee is not way out over the top. Okay, I'm still inside of that toe, okay? Just some angles I want you to think of while we do this and pop back up. Beautiful, bent over position, okay? So just like if we were gonna do a bent over row, slight bend of the knees, butt goes back, chest drops down bringing my hands together in front, reading a book, okay? From that position, right? Keep that good bent over position. I'm looking at my hands, and I'm gonna rip that book apart, press over my head, pull those elbows back down towards my pockets as much as I can with opening that butterfly wing, coming back together. One, open, press, bring it down, and together, two, open, Press, bring it back, and together. Three, down, 
four. Down. Five. Good. Okay. Now this pillar reach. I'm going to get in plank position. I'm going to be sideways so you guys can see. Okay. Plank position, just like normal. So get yourself set. Okay. Lock everything in nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do, challenge is trying to get your arm and your leg off without tipping over. Okay. So I'm going to go arm first, leg off. We're just going to hold. Three, two, one. Replace. Arm off, leg off. Three, two, one. Down. Widen out your feet if it's too hard. Okay, that'll give you a little more support. Narrow it up if it's too easy. Okay, here we go. Take it off. Just two on each side. Three, two, one. Down. Good. Leg off. Three, two, one, and down. Beautiful. Back up to the top. Oh, we're doing so good on time, guys. Good job today. Okay. Left leg first on these lateral squats. Get yourself set. Toes pointed forward. Remember all those cues from the first time? Okay, we're going to just rep it out. Five reps. Switch sides. Here we go. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up four, down, up five. Good, switching sides. Down, up one, down, up two, down, up three, down, up four, and down, up five. Good. Bent over position, you know what that looks like now. So let's get in that bent over position. Put that book in front of you. Deep breaths. Make sure you're breathing. This is our active recovery. So we're stretching things out, using those pulling muscles and rip. Press. Bring it down. Put it together. One. Open. Press. Down. Together. Two. Good. You guys know the movement. Now just go through it. Don't rush it. Take your time. Three. Should be tight everywhere you go. So you're pushing into tightness everywhere you go, just like you're stretching. Okay, you're going to that end range, really pushing it to get the most out of this movement. Last one. This is a good one. This is one of those nuggets of knowledge. This is a good one for when you've worked all day at your desk. Go open up your chest from being tight from here, okay, from typing. Plank position. Okay, this time, let's go arm off, reset, arm off, reset, leg off, reset, leg off, reset. So we're going to go all four bases pop off one time in one rep. We got three, okay? Lock into plank position. Locked in, right arm off, left arm off, left leg off, right leg off. And I'm just gonna reverse that, right leg, left leg, left arm, right arm. Good, back around the circle. Right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg, beautiful, right leg. Left leg, left arm, right arm. One more time around, right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg, right leg, left leg, left arm, and right arm, and relax. Whew. That seems harder than it should be. I wore sweats today. It's not warm outside. I'm paying the price right now, guys. Sweating it up with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and move into our next round. So we're gonna go load, lift, and pop for five on each side. It's kind of a single leg RDL into a hip flexion with a 
pop at the end. So we're gonna hop on one leg. If you can't hop on one leg, if you have pain, just go down, come up into that hip flexion position, okay? From there, we're going push up with shoulder taps. Then we're gonna go bear crawl, okay? Here we go. So my load, lift, and pop. You can watch the first one. I'll go right leg as my active leg. I'm gonna load back. I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna have to balance, okay? That's why we did two to one earlier. Okay, so load, lift and pop, and then hold at that top. Make that tabletop with your leg, okay? Got five on each side. Get set, here we go. Loading back, lift up and pop. Good, see I'm not bouncing super high, I'm just making myself unbalanced. Here, load, lift and pop. Good, load, lift and pop. Load, lift and pop. Good, load, lift and pop. One more, load, lift and pop. Hold, and replace. Good, switching sides. Okay, here we go. Left leg is the active leg. Load back, lift and pop. Good, load, lift. Good, load, lift. Good, load, nice work, lift. One more, load, oh, don't fall, lift. If you do, kickstand like I did, it's fine. Get off balance, no big deal. Okay, shoulder tap, push-ups. You guys know shoulder tap? We're gonna go down, shoulder tap, down, shoulder tap, alternating each push-up. Six push-ups, three shoulder taps. Okay, here we go. Lock in, into position. Push-ups, if you need to go from your knees, that's fine. You guys know the rule, do what you can. Okay, down, up, shoulder tap, down, shoulder tap. Just get that good rhythm going. That's two, and three. Nice work. Easy peasy, right? Bear crawl position, okay? I'm watching my camera so I don't go off screen like I have in the past. Okay, here we go. Bear crawl position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Find that neutral spine. Bridge up on those toes just a little bit. Let's go five steps forward, five steps back. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. And work your way back. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Load, lift, and pop. Round two. Here we go. Okay. You guys know what it looks like now. We're going left leg to start. I'm going to try not to fall over this time. Here we go. Loading back. Lift and pop. Good. Load. Lift. Load. Lift. Load. Lift. Load, lift, beautiful. If you have any athletes in your family, this is a good one. It's what you would do as a wall drill normally, but doing it like this, you're still teaching some of those good positions that we use in sport, okay? So here, load, lift, load. You wanna drive that knee up fast, lift. That's what's lifting me off the ground, load. Lift, two more, load, lift, last one, load, and lift, and relax down. All right, guys, push up, shoulder tap, and we have our finish, core exercises, yeehaw. Here we go, push up position, lock in, okay, push up first, down, up, shoulder tap, good, down, up, shoulder tap, down, up, shoulder tap, down, up, down, up, down, up, and relax, come down. Beautifully done, guys, beautifully done. For no reason whatsoever, switching sides on you, okay? Okay, here we go. 
Actually, you know what? Let's go sideways. Let's make it challenging. Some guys ask for more. Here you go. Here's more. Okay, we're going to do our regular bear crawls. We're going sideways. Remember, when you cross over, be careful. Okay, feet don't cross, arms can. So bridge up. Same bear crawl, just bridging up, moving sideways. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, working back. One, two, three, four, and five. Spider Man walks. Whew. Nice work. Okay, guys. Going into our last set, our core exercises, okay? Back by popular demand in this, we have our egg hold storytelling. Ooh, this will be fun, okay? So we're gonna go plank runners, 10 total, so five on each side, just super quick. But we're not gonna go fast with our plank runners, we're moving our legs slowly, also known as mountain climber, okay? In case you're confused. Then we're gonna go into our rollovers, not roll ups, roll overs. We'll go over that. And then an egg hold. Okay. Don't come out of any of the positions until I tell you to relax. Okay. Unless you need a break, take a quick break and jump back in. Okay. Here we go. Plank runners, mountain climbers, whatever you want to call them. Plank position. <clears throat> Lock in. I'm going to go right leg to right elbow. And I'm going to pause for three. Two, one, back out. Left to left. Three, two, one, out. Right to right. Three, two, one, go. Left to left. Three, two, one, go. Five of these on each side. In, go. In, go. In, go. In. Go, last one, in, go, in, and go, good. Rolling over onto our back, opposite arm, opposite leg. I'm going left and right together, so right arm, left leg. You can grab your knee, okay? I don't want you hooked underneath, on top or pressed. If you wanna make this harder on yourself, squeeze something in between your leg in your arm, okay? Now I'm gonna roll towards my high knee, but I'm not gonna allow myself to flop like a fish, using my core nice and tight to control myself. Then I'm gonna roll back, same thing, no flopping. And if you find a sticking spot, try to at least go to that sticking spot before you flop. So if you get halfway, and then you feel like you're gonna flop, just hold in that halfway, keep your core nice and tight. Don't allow yourself to go any further. We're going to go three on each side. This is hard to do while talking because I'm keeping my core nice and tight. So I'm like a boxer right now. I'm trying to keep my core tight and still breathe. Last one. And then roll up. Beautiful. Switching legs. Don't let your other leg come all the way to the ground. It's hovering the entire time. Here we go. Rolling away. And back. Beautiful. Roll. Oh, that was a flop. Come on, coach, rolling back. See, if you let your car go, you're going to just roll to the side super quick. That's not working. Okay, keep that core tight. Keep your mind locked in on the activity. Some of the simplest movements can be the hardest to do. And beautiful. All right, don't come out. Let's go into that egg position. Now remember, you can be here as long as your shoulders are off the ground, or you can go hands behind your head and try to lock in. We're going to do a story. Okay, so three two, one, lock. So my wife and I found the world's best cookie recipe. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Milk Bar, but they have a cookie recipe where you put cornflakes. 
which has always been one of my favorite cereals. Yes, corn flakes, not frosted flakes. And you put those into the cookies along with marshmallows and chocolate chips. So those are definitely a cheat day thing, but if you wanna look them up, they are the marshmallow corn flake chocolate chip cookie by Milk Bar. You can find recipes online. They are amazing if you want a sweet treat. Plus there's cereal in it, so it's gotta be healthy, right? But I'm still trying to be good and not eat the entire batch of cookies all at one time. So there is that, and relax. <sighs> all right, guys, we got one more set. This time we're not gonna go as long, I promise. I had to tell you about those cookies. They're amazing. Okay, plank position. If I can hold plank position, my hands are wet now. Okay, plank position. A little faster on our mountain climbers this time. Here we go. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Good. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. One more. In, in. <laughs> and relax right rolling over we're going straight to the egg this time no rollovers you're welcome okay egg position while we're in the egg position i'm gonna go ahead and read your quote of the day again your quote of the day is coming from headspace if you want to get headspace okay start working on your mindset let me know you guys get it for free plus they're doing a 30-day challenge right now to see how much meditation guided meditation you can get through in a month it's kind of interesting it's a challenge that intel put out okay so just keep that in mind here we go three two one lock up i gave you a nice little break okay the common theme of all things that make us feel stressed in life is a busy mind boom mind blowing right stress is a killer okay anytime you see high blood pressure, anything like that, high cholesterol. Stress is a big contributor. So just keep that in mind. Our day-to-day -day lives, our day-to-day -day jobs, all of that is a huge stressor, okay? We need to make sure that we clear our mind, try to help us get some recovery. So sleep, it's a big part of our philosophy is mindset and recovery. Those are big pieces of what we do here. So if you need help getting more headspace or getting more recovery please let me know you guys know how to get a hold of me email ims anything like that please let me know and i will gladly help you out go ahead and relax oh, stretch that core out for a second let's go ahead and roll over onto our bellies let's go into a low cobra so elbows down big chest try to push your hips into the floor. If you need to go further than that, go ahead, but please don't pinch your back. Just stretch that core out for a second. Nice work today, guys, as always, keeping up with me, beating me. Some of you, I know you do, even though you don't tell me you do. I know you do. Good job. Thanks for coming. I will see you guys Thursday. Remember to have your weights on hand if you have them. Uh, make sure you have a pad for your knees. Also, we're going to do some fun stuff with our half kneeling positions. So just make sure you have a pad if you want it. Okay, let's go ahead and come up to our knees. Let's take a deep breath in while I read you your joke for the day. Deep breath in all the way up. Let it out. What kind of music scares balloons? Well, it's pop music, of course. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you Thursday. As always, if you need something, please let me know. Be safe out there. Watch out for that rain. Try to stay dry. All right, talk to you guys soon.